once in a while I come across an idea that's so simple and so inspiring. I think, why didn't I think of that myself? Some friends and I went for dinner at Standard Grill in New York, which is right below the High Line. It's fantastic. And they serve these warm brownies in a skillet. It was so delicious that I had to come home and make it myself immediately, but for my brownie recipe. So that's what I'm doing here. For the dry mixture, I've got a quarter of a cup of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna sift them together. And here I have the chocolate mixture. It's so good, which I've prepared and completely cooled. I added one stick of unsalted butter, that's a quarter of a pound, to a bowl set over a pan of simmering water. Added four ounces of semi-sweet chocolate chips, one and a half ounces of unsweetened chocolate, and melted everything together. Then I set it aside for 15 minutes just to allow it to cool slightly. In a separate bowl, I added two extra large eggs two teaspoons of instant coffee granules. It's one of those magic things that really brings out the chocolate flavor. One and a half teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. A half a cup plus one tablespoon of sugar. It's an unusual amount, but it gives just the right amount of sweetness. Then I stirred everything together. Just stir it, don't beat it. You don't want extra air in it. The last step is to stir the chocolate mixture into the egg mixture and allow it to cool to room temperature. So that's the two mixtures. Now I'm just gonna put the flour into the chocolate mixture. As you can see, there's very little flour in this, which is what makes them such gooey, chocolatey brownies. Mm. This looks fantastic. So the last thing is, because these are actually triple chocolate, there are chocolate chips in it as well. So I've got a half a cup of chocolate chips. This is why you wanna make sure the batter is cool, because you don't want these chocolate chips to melt into the batter. You want them to say whole chocolate chips. I just put a tablespoon of flour into the chocolate chips. What it does is keep them from sinking in the batter. Just toss them together. Okay, and right into the mixture. Can't imagine how chocolatey this smells. That little hint of coffee really makes a difference. Okay, time to put it into the skillets. So I've got a tray with skillets on it. These are three and a half inch cast iron skillets. You can buy them online and they're just great. Individual portions. How fabulous is that? And I'm just gonna pour this right in. Generally, when you have a brownie, you have to wait for it to cool. So you can cut it in squares and then eat it. And when it's in the skillet, I realize you don't have to wait for it to cool. It can be served hot right out of the oven. Okay, wanna get every bit. Okay, these are gonna bake 350 degrees for 25 minutes and they're gonna be so hot and gooey and just delicious. Oh my God, this is just amazing. Molten hot chocolate. Who wouldn't want that for dessert? Just have to try one. I bet you didn't think I was going to, right? Mm.